What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here. It's sort of easy to forget that there's human beings behind all these corporations and Nintendo is one of those companies that sort of reminds us of that every now and then. If there's one company that we can all think of that has more heart than any combined when it comes to gaming, it's gotta be Nintendo. And once again, we have a heart touching story coming from, well, Twitter actually. Alpharad, he had made a quoted tweet online talking about this dude who was diagnosed with a terminal condition. He was worried in the tweet saying that he thought he wasn't going to be able to play smash ultimate and to be honest with you it's not like stuff like that isn't common online i mean unfortunately in this world there are a lot of people who suffer from from terminal diseases and stuff but but this one just kind of hit home i mean the internet obviously it's hardened all of us by now we all got a little bit of thick skin going on but every now and then something just sort of penetrates people like armada who are really big in the fighting game scene came out giving their condolences and expressing their wish for chris to actually play ultimate before unfortunately his untimely death comes through and considering how much this affected me i also made a tweet expressing my heartbreak in this situation and how unfortunate it is that this kid is in this position and even though I feel like the words that I said honestly don't mean much in this scenario. I mean, I can't help him. I'm not a doctor. I mean, I don't really have much, but I, I still offer the full support of the Joy-Con boys. I mean, it seems sort of stupid in a sense, you know, like um, someone's dying of a terminal disease and yet like the only thing that they really want is to play a game. I mean, we should obviously be like pushing for like, I guess, treatment or research on something like this. But I mean, it it's sort of like, you know, give them at least some sort of pleasure or happiness, at least something that they want, man. It's sort of hard to talk about it, man. I mean, it, but 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 anyways, moving forward, this actually turned out really cool because Nintendo themselves somehow saw the tweet, which I'm not really surprised by considering how many people were sharing it. I mean, we're talking about tens of thousands overall likes and retweets going on here. While scrolling the Twitter timeline today, I looked down and sure enough, Alpha Rad comments on something talking about blessed Nintendo. This warms my heart instantaneously. I went to Chris's page. We did it, guys. Today, two Nintendo representatives came down with the E3 demo of Smash Ultimate and I got to play for three hours with a friend my bro and my mom i got pics coming but holy shit thanks to everyone who did this for me you are all the real champ that was this morning on september 21st 2018 being in the position that i'm in and somewhat of a critic i suppose th this honestly just warms my heart to the maximum man it's not all about the dollar bills and the products and the profit margins at the end of the day where nintendo they didn't even like make a big broadcast or try to like tweet it out or whatever they just sort of did something really really kind it just sort of restored is a lot of faith in people in general there's a lot of great things that we can all do out there and i would never let the negativity that the human race is capable of ever take away the beauty of what we can do when we work together to achieve something positive for each other but i mean damn i'm not trying to like butter up nintendo and make it seem like they don't do any wrong we, we all do wrong but it, it's just great to every now and then just take a moment and appreciate the beauty in human generosity looking out for each other making people happy they didn't have to do this at all but they did simply because because they wanted this guy to at least have somewhat of a pleasurable experience he's been he's been a fan of theirs for years unfortunately he's terminal and they're doing their best to 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 come through for him to give him a memorable experience something that he'll be able to you know think about for hopefully years to come and nintendo it's the most beautiful thing that i've honestly seen you guys do in a very long time a few years back 2015 um i was with kobe um sully john and we were sort of crewed up um it's been a little while since those times man the crew's been somewhat dysfunctional since then there was this time that we went to go visit this kid in um la i think he was living in hollywood hills or something like that i wish i had a picture unfortunately kobe's um instagram is private now so i can't pull up the picture but this kid he was 11 years old and dying from terminal cancer i'm not sure which kind seeing how he was so excited to have kobe there because the parents knew that he was a big fan of kobe they reached out to him we came through he knew everybody that was there sully and all of us he just lost his mind he was so fucking happy but you could see how weak he was due to um, the cancer and the treatments and how how fragile he was in a sense you know and this is a little kid somebody 11 years old dude i remember being fucking 11 years old pokemon crystal had just come out it was like 2001 um it, it's it's one of the best times of my life and to know that there's people out there who are living through that time period where their lives just unfortunately come to an end it's honestly the most heartbreaking thing that i can imagine and i wouldn't i wouldn't wish that on anybody man like it, it's really fucked up that that is a thing but all, all we can do is just support it as much as we can man so once again nintendo much love um everybody out there thank you to all who saw this and retweeted it liked it um the, all the memes and jokes aside that happen on this channel and the gaming community in general it's amazing when people can just stop for a moment even if it's brief and temporary to just help out someone else and to really just 
to, to make someone's dream come true like this, where they're in such an unfortunate position. And I, I love it. This is why the internet to me is beautiful the way that it is. I and mean, things can be improved, but man, there's so much love on here. So um, thank you guys for tuning in. I had to share this story. It was beautiful to me. And honestly, hopefully maybe it brightened up your day too. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll talk to you in the next video, stream, whatever the fuck it might be. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. Etika, the Nintendo bad boy out this bitch.